Crow was first discovered in China on a meat truck. She was missing her leg and uh, her skin was very bad. The rescuers from Slaughterhouse Survivors brought Pearl to their hospital. They were not optimistic. She recovered a lot quicker than anybody really thought. Pearl, come here. Pearl. Guy Pearl. After two months, Pearl was healthy enough to fly to California with the help from Road Dogs and Rescue. When I first met Pearl at the airport when she arrived, she was just really chill and laid back. On our drive home, she just fell asleep on my lap. You got a new life ahead, huh? Pearl is a really relaxed dog. She's just been so easygoing. I have three dogs of my own. I have two French Bulldogs and I have a Hound. There's always concern when you bring a foster dog in how they're going to react to the other dogs. Oh, I guess. But it was a seamless transition, really. I put her down, everybody met her, everybody got along from the start. <laughs> Once I had her in my home for a day or two, I could tell she really does struggle a bit to get around on just the three legs. Her hips are not great. She's so adaptable that she doesn't let it slow her down, but you can tell in some of her movements that it, it definitely inhibits her. Because Pearl was my foster, I was pretty biased reviewing adoption applications, so I needed somebody else to be a part of the process with me. Cheryl is another volunteer, so she helped in that process. Cheryl and I had a really good feeling about Ashley's application. She's a veterinarian. I live in New York City, and I guess I used to be a former crazy cat lady, and now I'm transforming over to possible small crazy dog lady. I actually wasn't looking to adopt another dog, but I came across Pearl. I just saw her face and how it just looked like she was completely broken at the time when they found her and realized she needed to be part of my little gang here in New York. Hey, huh? Cheryl lives in Pennsylvania. She and her husband decided to spend their anniversary in California and then drive back some of our road dogs to the East Coast. And Pearl was the first seat assigned. Whoa, I don't think you can fit. She's always been very laid back, very easygoing. No anxiety with a change of environment, which is why I'm not worried about her. We will be traveling today, and my passengers are Pearl, and Leela, and Teddy, and Cordelia. Our ultimate destination will be Allentown, Pennsylvania. Pearl is the sweetest, most chill dog ever, and we're so excited that she's going to her forever home in New York with her mom, Ashley, who's phenomenal. Hey, Puddy Poo. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye, Bye Leah. She really will be fine. Her mom's gonna love her. She already loves her. It's never, never met her. I'm gonna miss her, but I know she has a great life ahead of her, and I'm happy for her at the same time. Where are you going, girl? Where are we going? Nevada, welcome Ready to pearls. jump out of the crate. Day two, look. Okay, we gotta go. And there she goes. Road trip day three. We're in Colorado, heading for Kansas. Girls up in the front, riding shotgun, right? And in the back, we have Miss Cordelia. She's sleeping. And we have Teddy, who's not. Are you bringing the luggage in? Hey, Lila! Here she comes! Girl's having a great time, aren't you, Pearl? She loves those french fries. We just arrived at our last stop. So the pups were just fed. They're out playing. We're coming 
Almost home, Pearl. There we go. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Today, Pearl's new mom, Ashley, is coming from New York City to officially adopt her, so we're very excited to welcome Ashley. So I have a couple of my friends coming with me to drive to Allentown. Um, we got some snacks for the road. This is Claire. Hi. Hi. This is Tiffany. Hi. And this is Brawley. All right, so it's starting. We're on our way to go pick up Pearl. I'm so excited to see like her little personality and all the things that I've been hearing about her, about how she's playful but still very chill. Where's your mama? I think Pearl deserves the best life. She's just a beautiful creature. Look up, Pearl. Oh my gosh. So pretty. Hello, Pearl. Hello. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Here we go, Pearl. Oh my goodness. Hi. There's your mama, Pearl. Hey, baby. There's your mama. Hi. There's your mama. She is so little. She was so chill and so comfortable in Ashley's arms. Pearl is everything I imagined she would be, and even more, and it's just fantastic. And this is. Pearl's going for a close up. Kiss it. Everybody wants one, huh? I promise I'll take good care of her. I know. I know this is the first time I'm meeting her in person, but I feel like with all the videos and all the pictures that I feel like I've known her for a very long time. I believe Pearl has found her forever home and it was truly meant to be. All right, Pearl, it's time to go home. My heart melted when I saw her and I just wanted to be with her and hold her again just to kind of reassure her like this is it finally in your permanent home. First time Pearl stepped onto the New York City street I think the smells were overwhelming. She wanted to smell everything and explore everything. I think she's going to fit in great here. Oh, welcome home Pearl! to be in your new home. Let's go. Come on. Go up. When I first brought Pearl into the apartment, she went crazy smelling again, exploring everything. Hey, Janet. Hey. Want to meet your new sister, Pearl? Hey, Pearl. Hey. Pearl and Janet met for the first time. They were a bit hesitant, but I know they'd be good friends. She did end up finding her bed and she plopped right in it and fell asleep nicely. I thought it was pretty cute that she knew exactly that that was hers. Well, I think she was hungry. I feel like I made the right decision in adopting Pearl because I feel like her personality is very relaxed and so is Janet's and so am I. So I think we all complement each other very well. For a long-term plan for Pearl, I plan on definitely looking into a prosthetic to seeing if that's best suited for her and also some rehab. Pearl came from a pretty bad situation and I think it's a miracle that she's alive and I think that she deserves the best life that she can have going forward.